Hi, um, I wanted to talk to you about an MR I've been working on. So I've been working on trying to add OAuth 2 support to the CLI. Um, so essentially, uh, earlier you could only log in with the your personal access token or BAT. Um, but what I've done is now added support to be able to log in via OAuth as well. Um, so now if you do GLAB auth login um, and you decide which instance you want to log into, um, it will ask you whether you want to log in with a token or via the web. Uh, so if I select web, it takes me to the OAuth screen. Now I'm already logged in to GitLab, uh, but it will show me uh, the GitLab login page if I haven't logged in. And then once that's complete, uh, I can go back and continue my journey of um, of logging in. Uh, I can select my default Git protocol as you can do today, and then I'm logged in. So essentially, now if I run a command like MR list, it actually shows me um, a list of MR using my um, access token, which it's obtained through OAuth. I'm using Pixie uh, with OAuth, so that's um, uh, that's making sure we only are using our client ID. Uh, question uh, for the maintainers is that how do we generate this client ID and store it? Um, so we just need to figure that out. But otherwise, um, so when you do MR list, it's it's using your specific um, authentication token. You can also um, so if I actually uh, go ahead and edit it so that I expire the token, <clears throat> excuse me, if I expire the token, um, you can see that once the token's expired, if I run MR list again, it says or tokens expired and it regenerates a token. Now this is just a temporary log statement I've used um, just to show that I'm, I'm actually refreshing the token in the main version will remove this. Um, so that's it, uh, that, that's the OAuth support for the CLI. Thank you.